In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fade video in and out. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. To fade video out, move to the end of your video clip and then tap the plus sign on the left. Tap on blank to add your blank clip. This should be black, but mine's white. So I'll swipe over, tap on canvas, then I'll select background, and choose a color from the color palette, black. Tap on black to choose it. Tap the check mark once you're done. Next, I need to add a transition in between the end of my video clip and the start of my blank clip. So I'll tap the transition icon that appears. Transitions are only available if you're on the iOS version. I have all of these transitions to use, but if you're using the free version of InShot, you'll only have the top row. The first transition is a fade out. I'll tap on it. That looks right. The transition will repeat until you tap the check mark. And of course, you can add some text, like thanks for watching, on top of the black clip. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. The fade out looks like that. Now let's take a look at how to fade in video. I'll tap on the plus sign to add a blank clip. and then tap blank. And as you can see, the background color is already set to black. Then I'll tap the transition icon in between my blank clip and the start of my video and choose the same transition. I love Mike's videos. The transition will repeat Mike's until videos. I tap the check mark. I'll tap on the check mark when I'm done and play the clip once more to see how it looks. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. That looks great. Now I can export this clip by tapping on the share icon. Notice that thanks to a recent update, you have the ability to change the resolution and frame rate before you tap on save. These settings are fine, so I'll leave them as they are and tap save to begin the export. The clip has been exported. Now let's take a look at the final clip. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.